So the third heat transfer mechanism that we're going to be looking at is radiation. Now radiation tends to be much smaller than conduction or convection. However, in some situations, it's the only heat transfer mechanism which is possible. So for, through a vacuum, for example, the only method of transferring heat is through radiation. So our equation for the heat transferred through radiation is P is equal to sigma AE t to the 4. In this equation, sigma is Stefan's constant and it has a value of 5.6696 times 10 to the minus 8 watts per meter squared per Kelvin to the minus 4. A is the surface area of the body which is transferring the heat. E is the emissivity. So this tells us about how good a body is at absorbing the radiation that falls on it. So a black body it absorbs all of the energy which falls upon it and has an emissivity of 1. A mirror, which tends to reflect the heat away, has a much lower emissivity. And the temperature in this equation is in kelvins and it's really important that we do substitute it in in kelvins because this is t to the 4, it's not a measure of the change in temperature. Now when a body is sitting in a room, it's absorbing heat from the surroundings as well as emitting heat to the surroundings. So the amount of heat which is emitted is given by P is equal to sigma AE T of the object to the 4, so that's the temperature of the object itself, and the amount of heat which it absorbs from the surroundings is given by P is equal to sigma AE T to the 4, where the temperature in this case is the temperature of the surroundings. So what tends to be most useful is, well, what's the net rate at which an object absorbs or emits heat? And so the net rate is given by the difference between these two. So we can say that the net rate of heat transfer from a body is given by sigma AE, and then we've got T to the 4, which is the temperature of the surroundings to the power of 4, minus the temperature of the object to the power of 4.